Good afternoon, dear colleagues and guests. Let me declare open a session of the Dissertation Council for Defense of Thesis by Bayarov Andrei Alexandrovich for the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, specialty 010109, discrete mathematics and mathematical cybernetics on the theme, randomized approach to unsupervised and few short learning. By the order of St. Petersburg University of the 18th of March, 2020, number 4374-1, May Fratkova Alexander Lvovich, Doctor of Technical Sciences Professor of the Department of Theoretical Cybernetics of St. Petersburg University, was appointed chairman of this dissertation council. Other members of the dissertation council were appointed by the same order, and let me introduce them to you. Krilatov Alexander Yurovich, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the Department of Mathematical Modeling of Energy Systems of St. Petersburg University. Kasovskaya Tatiana Matveyevna, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Head of Department of Computer Science at St. Petersburg University. And in the remote access mode, we have two participants of the Dissertation Council, Klebnikov Mikhail Vladimirovich, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor of the Russian Academy of Sciences, Chief Researcher, Acting Head of the, of the Laboratory of Adaptive and Robust Systems, named after Tsipkin, of Institute of Management Problems of Russian Academy of Sciences, named after Drapenzika. And Aronofsky Stanislav Vladimirovich, Doctor of Technical Sciences, and works at Central, Central Supelec at University Paris Saclay, France. Dear colleagues, can you see? Can you hear us? Yes, we can see and hear you. Yes, we can see and hear you. That's excellent. We have also here uh, the degree applicant, Boyarov Andrei Alexandrovich. Also at this session, the academic advisor, the degree applicant, Granichin Oleg Nikolaj, Doctor of Physics and Mathematics, Professor, Professor of the Department of System Programming of St. Petersburg University. To improve the quality of communication, dear colleagues, please, those of you working in the remote access mode, to switch off your microphones when others are speaking. But please remember to switch them on when they are given the floor. Thank you. Let me also inform you that our session is being recorded and broadcast online at St. Petersburg University website. The speeches are being simultaneously translated from Russian into English or from English into Russian. During the live broadcast of the uh, Dissertation Council session, an email address is currently displayed at which all the listeners can express their opinions and send questions to the candidate in line. So the uh, session will be open. These question, uh, uh, questions related to the current scientific discussion of a speech, these questions shall be forwarded to me by our technical support, and I shall voice them during the discussion. The questions certainly should be related to the applicant's speech and the content of his thesis. and. It's mandatory to indicate the name, position, and the place of employment of the author of the question. Questions that are not related to the scientific discussion, to the discussion of the thesis, or to the text and evaluation of the thesis itself shall not be presented. In accordance with the order of awarding St. Petersburg University the degree of Canada of Science and Doctor of Science approved by the local regulations, so, but here and after referred to as the order. So, under the order, a session of the decision council is considered competent if at least two thirds of the approved 
composition of the dissertation council take part in its work, but not less than four persons. Our dissertation council consists of five persons. All the five members are present, including two members of the council in the remote interactive mode. All the members of the dissertation council and the applicant have video or audiovisual contact. Thus, we have the quorum. Let me set forth the following procedure of today's session with the approximate duration of approximately two hours. First, the chairman's summary report on the main content of documents submitted by the applicant and their compliance with the applicable regulations. Answers to possible questions, approximately five minutes. Second, brief presentation by the degree applicant outlining the key points of his study. Approximately 15 minutes. Questions to the applicant strictly in his report, not more than two minutes per question. Answers of the applicant, maximum five minutes for all the questions. Next, speeches of all the members of the dissertation council in turn with their assessment of the thesis and presentation of the applicant with their opinions, questions and suggestions to the applicant. No more than 10 minutes for each speaker and external reviews, if any. Six, speech of the chairman and his assessment of the thesis, approximately 10 minutes. Seven, answers of the applicant to questions and remarks are made by members of the decision council not more than 15 minutes. Eight, open discussion speeches at the request of those present at the session with a summary of their positions and or with specific questions and proposals to the author strictly on the topic of the, of the study, no more than two minutes for each speaker. At that, all the speakers are kindly requested to register in the registration sheet and to fully introduce themselves before speaking. Nine, presentation by the chairman of questions to the applicant sent during the discussion of his speech and the scientific discussion during the uh, online broadcast of this session at St. Petersburg University website. Answers of the applicant, no more than two minutes per each question. Twelfth, discussion by members of the decision council before the open voting of the results of the defense, during which the sound shall be switched off. Approximately five minutes if Council members consider such a discussion necessary. 13. Open individual voting. And uh, the chairman shall count the votes. The results will be recorded in the minutes of the meeting. Decision on awarding or not awarding the academic degree. And finally, the closing remarks of the applicant. No more than two minutes. Dear colleagues, do you have any questions or objections to this procedure? No, I guess no. No. If there are no objections, then let me start running the procedure. And first of all, please remember to switch off your mobile phones. Thank you for your understanding. Well, the thesis by Boyar of Andrei Alexandrovich for the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, specialty 010109, discrete mathematics and mathematical cybernetics, uh, on the theme, randomized approach to unsupervised and few short learning, was accepted for defense by the order of the academic secretary of St. Petersburg University dated the 7th of May, 2020, number 3961-1. Boyarov Andrei Alexandrovich wrote his thesis at St. Petersburg University under the guidance of Doctor of Physics and Mathematics Professor, Professor of the Department of System Programming, Granichin Oleg Nikolaevich, 
a number of publications of the degree applicant which outline the key points of the thesis according to the provided list is nine in peer-reviewed journals from the list approved by the Ministry of Science and Education of Russian Federation, one publication in journals indexed by Scientometric Databases, Web of Science and Scopus three publications. The document submitted to the Academic Secretary of St. Petersburg University a full set of documents uh, to accept the thesis for review and uh, all the uh, documents comply with uh, applicable regulations. All the documents, some, uh, according to the information I received from the creator, comply with the requirements that are kept in the applicant's attestation file. Copies are available with the Office of the Decision Council Activity Support Department, who is currently present at the session. Before we get the floor to the degree applicant, do you, the uh, council members, have any questions of general nature, and is it necessary to disclose and review the entire list of documents submitted by the degree applicant? I have no questions. No, no questions. No questions. Thank you. Uh, then let me give the floor to the degree applicant, Andrei Alexandrovich. The floor is yours, and you have 15 minutes. Uh, Alexander Lvovich, thank you. Dear council members and guests, in my report, I will present to you the results of my thesis on randomized approach to unsupervised and efficient learning uh, conducted under the guidance of Oleg Nikolaevich Granichin. The modern concepts of machine learning are built around the idea that a machine should adapt to a particular task based on the data. That is actually determine its algorithm. The, and often the success of supervised learning largely depends on availability of a large number of marked and clear training data. However, when solving real problems, such data are often absent which makes the task of self-learning and, and one of its particular cases clustering, a task of learning classification by uh, including a wider range of meta-learning tasks relevant. It's important to know that the lack of a known data structure and uh, markup is a source of uncertainty. Thus, the purpose of my thesis is the development and mathematical justification of machine learning algorithm resistant to uncertainties that arise during supervised and through short learning. To achieve this goal, the following tasks were set to study, develop, and mathematically substantiate a general algorithm for clustering in a model of Gaussian distribution mixture capable of qualitative working. Study, development, medically substantiate modification of the general algorithm of clustering for conditions of the Gaussian mixture model with sparse parameters. Study, develop, and mathematically substantiate the method of teaching the adaptive classifier by a small number of marked examples for each class. Study the performance and quality of the developed new algorithm, both in the comparative simulation modeling and the real problem conditions. Let's consider the clustering problem. Let a probability space be defined on the set of input data X. The clustering task is to find the best partition of the input data into K disjoint sets clusters. For each cluster, a quality function Q is defined depending on the theta and gamma parameters. Theta will be interpreted as cluster centers or centro centroids and gamma as convergence matrices. Then the optimization problem is formulated in expression one. The probability distribution on a set of input data can be represented using a mixture of distributions. One of the most common and widely used cases is the case of Gaussian mixture model. We will consider the quality function E which is a square of Mahanobis distance. Then, for the six input data, we write the optimization problem one in the form two. Uh, 
with the Gaussian mixture model, data model, and clustering problem statement introduced above, finding the optimal parameters of the uh, Gaussian mixture model is equivalent to finding the optimal clustering parameters. This connection is justified by the flow on lemma one. Let us assume that the only noise measurements of a uh, quality function are available for observation, and that it's known that its additive external noise is limited. Let's consider the following assumptions. On the first, on the Lipschitz character of quality functions, the presence of a unique minimum of each function in terms of expression one and their strong convexity. Two, on the symmetry and positive dif uh, different of uh, matrices and the limitation of their values. Three, on significant separability of the clusters. Four, on limitation of successive noise differences in observations. Uh, as shown in expression three. Uh, to define the algorithm, let's introduce the following notation. Theta with a cap and gamma with a cap. Uh, shall be in centers of various matrices of clusters and nth step of the algorithm. Let delta uh, n be a vector consisting of independent, identical distributed random variables generated by the Bernoulli distribution called a trial random perturbation. The uh, k, k is, it shall be the number of clusters with alpha and beta and gamma n and shall be a set of succession of positive uh, numbers. Then the, the thesis, the random stochastic approximation algorithm for clustering uh, with the help of expression four is, is, and with the help of expression five, co covariance matrices. Uh, let's move on. Uh, introduce three main results of the input data, uh, additive noise, and algorithm parameters. Then in theorem one, uh, presents conditions for convergence of model parameters using and the sequence of matrices, covariance matrices, converge by probability and the, the uh, can, uh, sequence of centroids is independent. Let's lo look at the main advantages uh, of this. It's, uh, first is regression. Uh, is this includes such as adaptivity, or algorithm can process new data. Also, this method saves memory because it you don't have to store all the training data, uh, which uh, can significantly save memory. Second is a high speed uh, of performance of, unlike this uh, algorithm, it requires significantly few operations for the classical uh, k-means method, and it uh, isn't sensitive to noise when measuring the quality function. Uh, there's a large number of different clustering methods. Working on my thesis, and using the comparisons were made with the main, most relevant methods for the task. The comparison was conducted with the help of uh, small model, simulation modeling and three t uh, RAND correction index, ARI. Second, number loss mutual information, NMI, and the false Mallow criterion FMI used as uh, they all taken values between uh, zero and one, except for ARI, which takes the values between minus one and one. The closer the value is to one, the better the clustering quality. First, let us consider the case of k-means when only the cluster sensors were evaluated. The, then, as the table shows, the average values after 1,000 rounds, as you can see from these results. Next. Uh, for a Gaussian mixture model uh, distribution, where SMS, uh, um, the uh, the uh, algorithm shows one of the best results. In the thesis, we studied uh, the impact of various additive noises on the algorithm behavior. For that, 
uh, in the experiments we considered the algorithm of uh, cluster centers and K Lassa Gov. And two algorithms that it compared the uh, best results during the experiments K means plus plus and EM algorithm. As can be seen from the table, uh, the methods proposed in the thesis are superior to the classical approaches and uh, algorithm curve estimates uh, it demonstrates the best quality of clustering. Let's consider uh, an interesting of uh, Gaussian distribution proposed in the literature mixture of Gaussian distributions with sparse parameters. This is a model with many parameters. This approach is used to, for modeling large uh, number of noises. To achieve this behavior, the mean is modeled according to expression uh, 5. And the ways are modeled using a Dirichlet distribution with parameters as sample during the gamma distribution. In my thesis, I, we propose uh, modification for clustering, the purpose of which is to increase sustainability of the proposed method of Gaussian distribution model. This modification is based on the idea of regularization, uh, which means adding new members in the optimized function to avoid uh, the overfitting effect. Uh, we added, added L2 regular, regularizer defined by expression 8 and uh, the result, a modified uh, quality function, was obtained. In theorem 2, shows conditions of convergence of uh, centroids obtained with the help of a modified algorithm uh, in the sparse Gaussian mixture model, and also obtained result. Is strong. The results are uh, similar to results we obtained in theorem one, but in case of using a modified uh, quality function. Uh, when using uh, simulator experiments, we added uh, mixture, Gaussian mixture, mod mixture model, the, uh, the distance to centroids and their values. So the highest, the better the quality of the algorithm, as can be seen from the table. This modification of the method presented in the in the thesis is, remains stable, while other methods demonstrate degradation in the quality of work. Let's proceed to the next task of our thesis, setting the task of uh, future learning is necessary to train a classified carefully adapted recognizing new classes that were not present during the training. Uh, let's look at the uh, f uh, few short learning where n is the number of classes in the problem. Uh, is some in input, input data and y itil this is a, a, a class mark. The uh, few short learning is, is an MC is a, a number of classes. Is contains a STI and a set of Q, QTI, which are randomly selected from the data corresponding to class labels. The next figure shows or illustrates the learning process using a uh, few short learning uh, database of handwritten characters from Omniglot. The blue highlighted tasks, green is a reference set, red set of queries. Is a, the classifies training training episodes and its quality is evaluated during the test episodes. It should be mentioned that classes do not coincide. One of the most popular approaches to future short learning is a, a prototype network method. This method is based on deep convolutional neural network, which is used to obtain vector representation of data elements. Each prototype is calculated as an average obtained from the corresponding reference set. 
the loss function for a class K is defined as a negative probability that the element from Curie belongs to class K. Then the, the loss function for the problem is defined as averaging of the loss functions for all classes in the problem. In the thesis, we propose a modification of the prototype network method is based on the idea of simultaneous use of several tasks uh, in the learning episode. In the thesis, we propose a new multitasking function. Uh, describe equation 11. The number of tasks in the learning episode M is an algorithm parameter. As you can see, is is critically important for uh, multitasking learning. And to do this, we suggest a s method of stochastic approximation algorithm with to obtain uh, evaluation of these parameters. Uh, let this uh, loss function uh, in the noised mode, this sigma is by time t, uh, then the uh, then uh, L1, L2 is, is necessary to construct a parameter to estimate the minimal as average risk function. Let's consider the case where data is such that the learning tasks are homogeneous. Then, in the thesis, we propose a randomized stochastic approximation algorithm for a few short learning, which allows us to build estimates of hyperparameters WN. Uh, theorem 3 substantiates the conditions for consistency of uh, uh, thing and when they are st strongly sustainable. The more general approach to optimization in the learning environment with a uh, few short uh, training tasks and not uniform is uh, algorithm tracking for, tr for few short learning. Uh, 14, which is you, to formulate uh, re result of the properties, we propose a definition of the uh, uh, effective upper bound. In the theorem 4, we formulate, formulated properties of algorithm uh, parameters for learning, uh, future learning obtained with this algorithm has uh, as a effective upper bound. Experiments with algorithms proposed in the thesis were conducted on one of the uh, standard Omniglot tests. This database consists of 1,623 different handwritten characters or classes taken from 50 alphabets. There are two versions of the test. In the uh, 20 images where different people are collected for each character, and extended version is uh, rotations that are multiplied to 90 degrees. It's important to note that the original test is much more complex and uh, the significantly worse results than the extended test. Therefore, the uh, original test was of greatest interest for the study. In the experiments uh, conducted, we obtained the following uh, improvement of algorithm track tracking of the uh, prototypes. On the original test, the average accuracy increased by 2.6% for uh, classification on five examples. In the extended test, accuracy increased by the average of 0.25% for classification one and 0.1% for classification by five examples. As for problem of confirming the authorship is uh, authorship of the Arabic medieval manuscript History of Egypt uh, by uh, e Egyptian historian uh, Al Makrisi using machine learning methods. The proposed method for solving is shown in the diagram as a manuscript page it was cut into patches or pieces, which assigned the probability of belonging to a pen of uh, Al Makrisi using a deep convolutional network. And then these probabilities are then averaged. After l training, the following results were obtained. 
the test data classification across 99 percent and comp uh, completeness of 92 but the average probability that the manuscript belong uh, the author of the manuscript is al macrisi is 86 percent the the illustration sh shows uh, the from maps of uh, various manuscript pages shown with the help of uh, thermal map this intense the red color the greater the probability of al macrisi authorship for this patch to extend this approach to other authors, it's necessary to collect a new training set and retrain the model, which is time-consuming pro process. That is why, in my thesis, a new method is proposed that uses a uh, few short training, so it's uh, treated as a separate class and page separate data element. And there is a new neural network where this method is used. Uh, these views are used to train the algorithm for the classification of if you should uh, uh, learning. As a result, the accuracy in the, of the model trained this way is 99%. The probability of belonging uh, of the manuscript to Alma Chris is 90%. As we see from this data, the new method shows good results in the previous task. And in conclusion, uh, let me list the main results of uh, obtained uh, in the thesis. As, uh, uh, just if I investigated uh, the algorithm, which can work with uh, limited uh, noise, uh, proposed uh, mathematically justified, uh, which is able to work qualitatively, randomized approach to training qual a classifier based on a small number of marked examples proposed and mathematically justified, a set of application programs has been developed that uh, implement algorithm uh, and demonstrate their performance both on a simulated synthetic as well and in the lack of very uh, in in task of verifying the authorship. Next slides show works which set out the main results of the thesis. Total, I published nine papers. One uh, in the list approved by the Ministry of Education and three in journals indexed in the Santometric databases. And uh, one is a certificate of authorship for a software program. Uh, thank you, Andrei Alexandrovich. At that, let me conclude. Uh, now, dear colleagues, uh, let us proceed to discussion. And let's start with questions and uh, uh, to the applicant and answers of the applicant. Uh, do you have, dear colleagues, do you have answers to the applicant for the applicant? Andrei Alexandrovich, please tell us uh, what are what do you see as the next ways of development? A question uh, by Mikhail Vladimirovich Klebnikov. Thank you for the question. Uh, future ways for future development. I see quite a number of ways because I think the uh, issue is has great potential. Uh, f a few short learning. Uh, we need to conduct our experiments with. A new uh, learning algorithm, few short learning algorithm, and apply uh, proposed methods to them, and also a separate field of study is uh, the study of parameters of algorithm, which uh, descri I described in my thesis because that is a separate field where uh, many articles could be written. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, more questions, please. Stanislav Vladimirovich has a question. Uh, thank you for your presentation. It was interesting. It complements the manuscript very well. I have a question which I got after reading your thesis and after your presentation, your algorithm has many advantages uh, as shown by the tests. Good quality clusterization is qualitative assessment and uh, it it is very quick. Uh, does your algorithm have any weaknesses? Maybe there is there are some tasks where it's less competitive. Right now it seems to be uh, it can replace all the other methods because uh, it prevails over all other methods. 
thank you for this question. As any other method, it has its weaknesses. In, uh, in my opinion, this is quite a strong method. This is modeling described as, as is shown in my thesis, but often when using this method, for example, specific tasks arising in, in, during machine learning, as it is known for specific tasks, there are some specific methods which work better. And on this methods and this tasks, my method shows uh, worse results. For example, clustering tasks, specific data. Uh, here, the key means method has a number of advantages and can show good results. But let me again, once again emphasize that the advantage of my method is is adaptivity. It can work in, in so unlike many classical methods. Thank you. Are you satisfied? Yes, I am. I wanted to ask one more. My next question, yeah, please. Uh, in your list of publications, you mention a patent obtained for software for visual information in Arabic languages, and they applied part of your work is uh, was to, uh, verify authorship in Arabic of an Arabic manuscript. This practical task, why is it selected? Uh, you are cooperating with some center. Why? How? How did you get this idea? Thank you for this question. It's very interesting indeed. It's motivated by our group under the guidance of Oleg Nikolaevich. We cooperate with the, uh, Orient, the, the Faculty of Oriental Studies of St. Petersburg University, and they uh, have many studies of Arabic manuscripts. Uh, so here. Uh, we also have collection uh, connection with the Michigan University, where this u manuscript ca came from. So colleagues were interested uh, in uh, getting verification of their opinion as philologists, as historians, with the, uh, from mathematicians and machine learning. So we helped them out. Uh, thank you. Uh, any more? Do we have any more questions? If we have no more questions, let me ask a couple of questions. In your presentation, you mentioned you used terms such as sparse parameters and uh, few short learning. These uh, these terms seem to be informal. Could you please uh, clarify what is meant by sparse parameters and few shots in your thesis? Thank you for your question. It's uh, these the terms are very important for the, the for the entire thesis. Let me start with sparse parameters. In my uh, uh, presentation, I tried to focus. A sparse model means the model has lots of parameters, many of which. Uh, uh, tend to zero. So there's a small number of parameters. There's a small number of parameters uh, which are non equal, not equal to zero. That depends on the task and how the task. Each task, as uh, in my experience, the number of uh, this is, uh, depends on the task or, or on how we set the model how the model is set up. And to answer the second part of the question about uh, few short learning, in the example that I have g given the practical use uh, of the algorithm on Omniglot, there are two standard tests learning when every class, there's only one example available for each class and five examples for each class. So these, uh, 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 so that the, the so what's used in literature as few short learning. Uh, more questions?
questions? Do we have more questions? I uh, would like uh, to clarify something, just to uh, be sure, yes. Uh, when you talk about few shots, you mean so few uh, such, such, such data uh, where algorithm not designed for few shot learning cannot operate at all. Yes, that's what I mean. And to illustrate the scale of this problem, one of the classical databases on few shot for few shot learning. Uh, few short learning uh, for supervised learning consists of approximately one million pictures where uh, 1,000 clusters so I looked at for uh, for uh, learning for one class it uh, can use only one or five examples for each class are you satisfied yes uh, Stanislav Zunich is satisfied. If we have no questions at this point, let us proceed to the next uh, point of our agenda. Speeches of the dissertation council members uh, with their assessment and suggestions to the degree applicant, to the author of the thesis, and uh, uh, reading external reviews, if any, by the chairman. Uh, it says, in uh, this is our uh, tradition of discussing, uh, first we uh, to present external reviews, and uh, right now we have one external review, the review, uh, this is by Boris uh, Teodorovich Polik, a well-known scientist from the uh, uh, Management Problems Institute. Uh, let me read the key points and the conclusion. The thesis by Bayarov Andrei Alexandrovich is dedicated to a relevant field uh, assessment of uh, model parameters. Is it better? Thank you. Uh, assessment of model parameters when learning. Uh, unsupervised and few short le uh, data, short learning, the absence of known structure is a, sen is a source of uncertainty. Dealing for dealing with, the, with, the, with this, we need two new approaches to clustering. Another type of uncertainty connected with uh, pu poorly marked da uh, data S uh, classification. In this uh, in this situation, the algorithm should be able to adapt to working with new classes uh, so, and maintain work quality on old classes. Such methods are uh, very much in demand because adaptation of new to new classes exists in many practical tasks. So in that relevance, for that relevance of the uh, thesis is beyond doubt. A novelty of the thesis is obviously beyond doubt because the thesis uh, proposes general uh, randomized algorithm stochastic approximation the model of uh, Gaussian mixture model which can perform with unknown but limited noise disturbances. The so classification of this algorithm that may, can uh, perform well uh, in Gaussian mixture model. Uh, first, randomized approach to uh, training of adaptive classifier, a small number of examples for all the proposed algorithms. Uh, the author has convergence of assessment, the value is in the development of stochastic approximation and parameter evaluation. The main contribution is in description of the general randomized clustering algorithm in the Gaussian mixture model. The description of a new multitask loss function and randomized learning method of uh, adaptable classifier uh, with the help of few shots using this function, a loss, this lo loss function and convergence of 
uh, assessments obtained with the help of this method. I believe the thesis by Bayarvan de Alexandrovich is uh, of uh, scientific, high scientific interest. He has a complete work which corresponds to all the requirements applied to a candidate's thesis, and the author, Boyarov Andrei Alexandrovich, deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, specialty 0101, discrete mathematics, and mathematical cybernetics. Uh, this is the review is positive and there are no critical remarks or questions in it. Let us proceed to speeches of the council members. Let, let's uh, do it in the alphabetical order. Uh, let's start with Aronofsky, Stanislav Vladimirovich. The floor is yours. The work is certainly interesting. It uh, deserves attention. The author conducted, as I understand, is uh, in the uh, framework of approximation or a stochastic approximation and uh, the few short learning methods. Because as soon as we as a text which exist of marked labeled data and uh, proceed to something use more more exotic then and in that sense the work and the method are highly relevant and important uh, since my review is positive in general generally speaking let me proceed to some critical remarks and questions i shall not read the entire review so what I what is missing in my opinion? I read the work with great pleasure, and some points are missing in my opinion. For the work, it's a, of data processing. The author, so the results of uh, algorithm application. I'm talking. The results are very po poorly described. Of the speed of the algorithm in the text. The uh, the text contains uh, calculations, uh, but the tables, the summary tables, as we could see, uh, do not have any information about the time, as I say, over all the algorithm on the same machine. The quality clusterization is shown, but the time is not given. It's a qualitative assessment. It just says, uh, I needed numerical rep a numerical representation. The second uh, thing missing is the author is for future uh, study is a discussion of uh, how the algorithm is sensitive uh, to adjusted parameters because we can see tables uh, where the quality is much higher but it's not it's not clear how much time or effort we need to adjust the algorithm to produce such good results, and what is even more important, uh, how the quality will change with small variations of adjustable parameters. I understand this is a, a big question which uh, requires a separate study, but uh, I wanted to see some discussion of this. But of course, these remarks do not affect the overall positive impression opinion and the thesis is a complete scientific study it has practical and theoretical significance and as far as i can judge i'm sure uh, all the results are correct uh, as pro shown by the number of publications and uh, in conclusion i think the uh, uh, thesis by bayarov andrey alexandrovich uh, an randomized approach to unsupervised and future learning corresponds to the main requirements set by the order on awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the author, Bayarov Andrei Alexandrovich, deserves awarding the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics, specialty 01019, discrete mathematics and uh, mathematical cybernetics. That's all I have to say. Thank you, Stanislav Vladimirovich. Uh, Andrei Alexandrovich, uh, maybe it will be
convenient to answer questions immediately. So, uh, Stanislav Vladimirovich, thank you very much for your review and your questions, your, co your remarks are indeed very valuable and very interesting. And let me uh, start uh, from the end. As for the speed, uh, I uh, so this question is very important. And adding uh, the indicators, uh, uh, the speed indicators will improve, make the thesis more readable, especially considering such studies are uh, we, we have conducted in the course of our work, uh, and I uh, have not included these parameters because in the modern more machine learning libraries often use various methods for uh, algorithm optimization, uh, use of central processor, and for correct comparison, it would be necessary to add in my to my algorithm same methods uh, of, of optimization and uh, study how they uh, affect or do not affect speed which in my opinion deserves a separate study that is why i decided not to include this data though let me repeat myself the this uh, this information is very important and adding this information would make the work more readable. As for your second comment, the set of parameters, as I have said already, this indeed is a very wide subject, broad subject. The studied algorithm and not their behavior uh, with different parameters, I decided uh, to use uh, theoretically justified parameters uh, Granichin and uh, Granichin et al. Uh, one thing is that these parameters for all the algorithm were selected once and uh, never changed and during the experiments, which added the opportunity for correct comparison. But I uh, let me agree with you that. The uh, study of results is very important for the study of the uh, properties of an algorithm. Thank you. Well, uh, Tatiana Matveevna Kosovskaya. Indeed, the work is dedicated to a highly relevant topic, uh, as we have already discussed here. First of all, I paid attention because this is close to the sphere of my research is that the work contains uh, some uh, assessment of complexity of evaluation, uh, which is a rare thing in such works. So that was like a gift for me. Uh, in general, the thesis is well justified mathematically and what is missing is comparison of the time with other algorithm, though I'm not sure that all the algorithm mentioned here have a theoretical assessment of uh, calculation complexity. So in conclusion, the thesis by Bayarov Andrei Alexandrovich on the theme randomized approach to unsupervised and few short learning corresponds to the basic requirements set by the order on the uh, awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University and the author by Yaravande Alexander deserves to be awarded the degree of candidate of physics and mathematics uh, specialty 0100 discrete mathematics and mathematical cybernetics As, uh, minor remarks and minor remarks as for someone who is uh, uh, not close to this field, the in the original descriptions of the standard clustering methods could be a little bit more detailed to give to provide better uh, understanding. And in chapter three, 
the choice of architecture of n neural, net neural network is not justified, and the architecture always has great impact on the results. Thank you. Uh, you have the floor to answer. Tatiana Matveyevna, thank you very much for your review. Indeed, the, your comments are important. As for, the, for your first comment, I agree that though uh, there is, uh, I have described the main clustering algorithm in my work, uh, making this chapter longer will and more inform will make the thesis more informative, and maybe some things seemed obvious to me. Uh, uh, so making this chapter more info this part more informative will will make the work more readable as for your second remark i uh, fully agree with it, with it this information should have i should have included this information especially considering that the choice of architecture uh, was experimentally selected on the evolution data uh, so we selected architecture optimal for our task, but including adding this information in my work would make it more informative and more readable, easier to read. Uh, thank you for your answers. Uh, Alexander Yurevich Krilatov. Andrei Alexandrovich, first of all, thank you for your interesting presentation. All uh, we have all read the, the uh, we, uh, and in my opinion, the results uh, you have achieved the results, and there is no uh, doubt about that. One thing I'd like to uh, emphasize, uh, maybe repeating what uh, ha uh, my colleagues have already said when talking about neural network approaches, machine learning, the methodology of the study starts with. Uh, uh, algorithm approach and then testing it uh, on uh, various models, uh, the quality, because the computational difficulty, and obtain some general understanding of how this approach works. Because one of the main claims to such approaches from uh, mathematicians uh, you know, uh, is not quite clear how they work. And in that sense, I think the contribution uh, made by you and by your academic advisor in this field is very, really significant. One, as for critical remarks, uh, and I, I, I'm not the first person uh, that uh, to uh, say that you didn't pay enough attention to time, but you have answered this question already very well. That. There are various uh, instruments to uh, increase the speed, and so the on the same platform should be done on the same platform uh, with common computational approaches, and so that shall be a separate study. Also, uh, uh, in for example, sometimes you use different uh, for uh, setting the range of uh, values uh, in different chapters and the notations also change from one chapter to another but that does not of course affect the significance of your results and thank you for so, uh, for, so these are my critical these are my comments and my questions Alexander Yurevich, thank you for your review and for your comments. As for the first comment, as you have already, as we, you have already said, we have discussed uh, the issue of adding uh, time uh, complexity data. I made a note that this is an interesting and uh, an interesting issue uh, that. Uh, I can study further. As for your other critical remarks, uh, thank you for your for, for, for your remarks. Uh, uh, I think uh, these are typos, mostly typos. 
and uh, unfortunately I could not eliminate them completely but uh, thank you for your uh, for reading my work so carefully are you satisfied with the answer yes thank you now Mikhail Vladimirovich Klebnikov uh, the floor is yours the thesis by Andrei Alexandrovich uh, made a good impre very good impression on me as is the case the theme of the uh, thesis is highly relevant uh, for successful performance of standard machine learning algorithm is uh, we need quite a large no amount of data properly labeled and uh, cleared but in real life it's sometimes hard to meet these requirements so this leads to uncertainties which have a negative impact on the on the uh, capability of the algorithm and uh, on the quality of the trained model so there is a need to develop new approaches to learning and optimization uh, so which explains relevance of the thesis uh, of Andrei Alexandrovich. Uh, the author obtained a number of interesting results that can be used uh, to study clustering uh, in uh, uncertainty situations, uh, few short learning. For few sh uh, also, the author developed a set of uh, applied programs which uh, demonstrate uh, validity of uh, the method uh, for determining authorship of an Arabic manuscript. And now as for uh, in section 113, defines a mixture of uh, Gaussian mixture model with sparse parameters. It defines three types of cluster behavior in this model. However, there is no clear justification for these three, t uh, for defining these three types. So they are quite, they uh, seem to be illustrations. Uh, also, it would be useful to discuss how the limiting requirements in the first uh, propositions in uh, section 211 uh, are limiting. What else? The choice of parameters for uh, randomized uh, stochastic semester algorithm in uh, section 314 needs uh, better justification. So maybe we should have conducted experiments with uh, various sets of parameters. And finally, maybe uh, terms introduced in the thesis could be given, uh, uh, could be defined in the work. There is only one uh, definition in your thesis. And there, then there are some typos, but my comments are more of editorial nature and they do not affect the overall value and significance of your work and uh, the overall positive impression uh, which uh, was made by your thesis, uh, performed on a high scientific level, is, read, is uh, very clearly written, logical, and uh, of course I should mention uh, the uh, well uh, written the work is well written and uh, very detailed. And to sum it up, I, uh, I'm i sure that the thesis by Andrei Alexandrovich Boyarov corresponds to the requirements set by the order and award in academic degrees at St. Petersburg University. And the author deserves awarding the degree of physics and mathematics, uh, specialty 010109, discrete mathematics and mathematical cybernetics. Uh, thank you, Mikhail Vladimirovich. Uh, thank you, Mikhail Vladimirovich. Uh, the, uh, let's give the floor to the degree of again. Mikhail Vladimirovich, thank you very much for your review and for your comments. Uh, let me answer your remarks. Uh, as for your first remark, as for different types of uh, cluster behavior, in the Gaussian mixture model, I agree that these clusters were uh, uh, defined empirically and uh, they were used as illustrations to show how complex the tasks, uh, uh, clustering task is in using uh, Gaussian mixture model with sparse parameters, but I agree that this 
uh, I should have described that uh, or uh, explore that better. As for uh, the limiting capacity uh, of uh, sentences one four, I absolutely agree with you because sentences one four, they are cornerstone uh, for uh, theorem pr proposed in my uh, thesis, and the work uses as data model for clustering as uh, a quality function as uh, the Mahala Nobis distance and uh, but the study of uh, the limiting capacity of these methods will enable I uh, would have enabled us to describe uh, various quality functions uh, that can be applied to the results so thank you for this uh, comment it will certainly help me really help me in my future work as for the next uh, your next uh, comment uh, approximation algorithm <coughs> as I have mentioned said already this is a, a field for a separate study so I uh, defined parameters, but I agree that the, a study of algorithm behavior uh, with changing parameters is a very interesting and uh, uh, will be explored in the future. And as for your fourth comment, I agree that some some terms uh, are used uh, should I should have defined uh, to make the uh, to give the, uh, should have defined them in my thesis in the thesis uh, thank you Mikhail Vladimir are you satisfied with the answers yes I'm uh, completely satisfied uh, now is chairman's turn my review uh, as well as other reviews uh, mentions uh, relevance uh, but I think uh, this has already been very well justified. So let me skip this part. Uh, it's uh, the uh, rel uh, the main results. I think uh, I uh, s uh, justifying the overall randomized stochastic uh, approximation algorithm for the model, uh, Gaussian mixture model, and speed of the algorithm with unknown but limited uh, uh, noise. Uh, justification of uh, general randomized for clustering used as a uh, Gaussian mixture model with sparse parameters and justification of approach uh, to adaptive classifier with a few shots used for parameter uh, multitask loss function, randomized uh, stochastic function approximation. I uh, s then say that these methods are processed uh, on real and synthetic data. And here I'd like to add that good impression, uh, the tables uh, compare characteristics of different algorithms and algorithm used by the author, original algorithm, not necessarily are the best. In some cases, uh, they, uh, other algorithm can overcome them. So the author is quite self-critical, has a, a good degree of self-criticism, uh, which gives uh, the reader a good impression. Scientific novelty and theoretical significance uh, this, uh, general randomized algorithm stochastic approximation, uh, which was, uh, is, as already mentioned, first classification that can work in uh, Gaussian mixture model with sparse parameters. For all the proposed algorithm, convergence has been proved of uh, uh, assessments. A practical significance is beyond doubt because obtained results can be applied in a wide to solve different tasks. Practical significance of the results is developing a set of uh, applied program, a soft, or set of software, software package, and justification, justif justified uh, with, by a registration certificate of this set. 
of this package. The practical significance is evidenced by uh, conducting works by RNF and RFII. Uh, credibility of the results is verified by mathematical evidence uh, pre presentation at international conference and uh, publishing papers in uh, respected national and international journals. All the provisions are well justified by the author. I have three uh, critical remarks in chapter two, then a proven convergence I, as, uh, of, of, uh, for tracking and use brief formula of uh, to improve this uh, section will be interesting to uh, define, extend this. Second, some definition are uh, too lax and too general. Uh, this was already, has already been mentioned here. And it, this jumps into the eye. In chapter three, the uh, of external, the quality of uh, general randomized stochastic approximation algorithm uh, clustering, uh, the choice of uh, perturbances. These comments do not affect the overall high impression, positive impression made by the thesis by Andrei Alexandrovich. All the results obtained by the author are new, uh, clearly stated, and uh, justified. The work is a complete scientific study and has uh, obvious practical and theoretical significance. The overall result is positive. The work by Andrei Alexandrovich Bayorov corresponds to the basic requirements set uh, by the local regulation of Petersburg University on the 1st of September 2016, number 6821-1 on the order of awarding academic degrees at St. Petersburg University and the author Boyarov Andrei Alexandrovich deserves awarding the degree of candidate of physics in mathematics, specialty 010109, a discrete mathematics and mathematical cybernetics. Article 11 of the above mentioned order has not been violated by the author. Has not been violated. Uh, the floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Alexander Lvovich, for your review and for your valuable comments. Uh, let, uh, let me try to answer. First, about the uh, algorithm tracking uh, and insufficient uh, definitions. Uh, I agree with you. Uh, this indeed explaining this would make the uh, thesis more informative and uh, make the material uh, the uh, algorithm tracking the concept easier to understand. So I, I think would as for vague definitions and generality of definitions. Uh, indeed, as you have said, uh, this comment uh, has already been made by your colleagues, and. I can only uh, uh, accept and in the future to watch the quality of definitions in my works. As for the th your third comment, thank you very much for the, this comment because it uh, applies to a very uh, important re element of the thesis, the impact of uh, external perturbances on the work of algorithm because this is one of the most important advantages and characteristics of uh, the um, propo um, proposed approach. These disturbances were chosen s s to have different nature and to demonstrate sustainability and quality of such methods. But I uh, agree that I should have done that uh, uh, more systematically, and maybe I don't uh, maybe uh, row, uh, give uh, so make it uh, turn make it into a separate section. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I am satisfied with your answer. Uh, the answer of Andrei Alexandrovich. Uh, I think other members inform me that they are also satisfied. So we can proceed to the next point. Uh, we can we can hear 
speeches of others, other attendees who are not uh, partic participating in the dissertation council. Uh, does anyone want to speak? Maybe the academic advisor wants to say something. Thank you very much for the opportunity to speak. And it's hard for me to do it in two minutes because I'd like to describe Andre's uh, uh, story. Uh, he's been working on this for eight years, uh, so, such as Caterpillar algorithm, and he joined our department to study uh, learning. And these issues, as Stanislav said, uh, there was a book by uh, Fermin and the approach of Fermin and Jakubovic. It was uh, slightly different. And the first part of the thesis shows, so they describe it uh, in a different way, but it provided uh, solutions. For, but the devil is in the details. There was universal solution, which we needed to make more specific. There was a thesis by Zmakova. Uh, which I inherited from Fermin. So I set Andre the task to specify Zmakova's thesis. The thesis was to uh, learn. He had three years for that, uh, which he succeeded. And uh, he set himself a very uh, uh, ambitious objective to create something new. And in the next five years, he uh, showed the st and Andre's strength in this. Uh, everything he has learned, uh, he used this uh, knowledge in practice, working on, uh, uh, he found new examples, which uh, were he, the method that he has mastered, and uh, results three, four, and five uh, sparse uh, uh, parameter. And so these are, these are results that he found himself, explained to me, it's very interesting that uh, we were working on in a new field, in a new task, together with Alexander Lvovich, so uh, tracking uh, st st stochastic approximation. And Andre uh, also used this algorithm and used in a different uh, few short learning, which now is one of the uh, fastest developing. Uh, and in for uh, geological models, it can be used. It is highly relevant. It can be written. And uh, another positive characteristics characteristic, the uh, task inspired by uh, re uh, our laboratory of uh, in the Muslim world. And working in this laboratory, we studied manuscripts, including this uh, manuscript by this philosopher, Al Makrisi. It was very important from a point of modern con new uh, uh, Islam Muslim studies. Uh, so it was important, uh, has a great political significance, great political importance for propaganda, various ideas. Uh, so that these, this task was very important. And in the results uh, demonstrated that credibility is 0 0.96. Zero, uh, so credi this credibility tradition uh, uh, obtained um, with traditional methods. And Andre, in the last study which he conducted, he made the same calculations. And now the certainty increased to 90%. So new methods uh, can be used very usab us usability, and uh, we, I am very inspired uh, with these results. I'm very satisfied, so my opinion is positive, and I recommend, I encourage or to vote to support the thesis. Uh, if we study the order, the speech of the uh, uh, academic advisor is uh, there's no time limit. So, so you set me the time limit, so you can maybe uh, describe, maybe you want to describe the personal, the personality of the author. I was trying, this is exactly what I was trying to say. I think that Andrei Alexandrovich managed to persuade himself that science is, uh, can give better than programming. Many programmers, once they get a task, they immediately uh, write a solution. They think it is good. Here, maybe I will talk not only about Andrei Alexandrovich, but about general trends 
uh, and Stanislav also said that algorithm is so universal. Why is uh, it not used widely? It's always, um, but when, uh, if you do this, uh, if you start selecting parameters, uh, or always uh, we get good. So Andre is trying to say that he honestly, uh, he has not selected parameters, uh, but this methodology can set the task and but why this method is not widely used, it's hard to select parameters, it's hard to compete, and uh, parameter selection is the key. And uh, so who, uh, thank you, Oleg Nikolaevich. So maybe anyone present here wants to, maybe someone else wants to speak. If uh, no one is willing to speak, then we can proceed to to uh, we can sh uh, questions received sent by email uh, during the online broadcasting. And this is a question to Natalia Vladimirovna. We received no questions, no cri critical remarks. So there is, so we don't have to answer any questions here. Uh, now I have also have to ask once again. Uh, uh, I have once again. I have to ask since our session has been held. Some of the uh, uh, participants are working in the remote access mode. Uh, Stanislav Vladimirovich, Alexander Yurich, uh, uh, do council members or maybe the degree applicant have any unanswered? questions uh, regarding working in the remote access mode. Maybe you missed something, maybe connection was lost. Now is the time to comment on this. I have no questions, Mikhail Vladimirovich. I have no questions, uh, Stanislav Vladimirovich, no questions. I have no questions, no questions. Okay. Then the discussion uh, is over, and uh, let me ask the council members. Now we have the opportunity before the uh, voting. Uh, we may take a technical break to discuss the results of uh, with the sound. The sound shall be switched off. If uh, if in doubt, uh, if it's, uh, questions of. Uh, dissertation council members to each other. So we now we have the opportunity uh, to discuss those privately. Do we need such a discussion? Because if we don't need such a discussion, we can proceed straight to voting. Do we need a, such a break? I don't see, uh, there is no need. I see no need in this. Stanislav Vladimirovich? No, I see no need in this. Uh, okay, I see, I also see no need. Uh, I think everything is clear here, and we can proceed to voting, the most important procedure. The I shall ask each council member individually uh, and independently, and the answer should be for or against or abstain. Uh, wish I uh, let me do it in the alphabetical order. Let me ask first Aronofsky, Stanislav Vladimirovich, uh, your opinion. I'm for. For. Thank you. Tatiana Matveyevna Kosovskaya, I am for. Kralatov, Alexander Yurovich. Uh, Krilatov Alexander Yurovich, I am for. For. Khlebnikov Mikhail Vladimirovich, I am for. And already enough, we got enough votes. I am pleased to join my 
colleagues and their uh, assessment, and I also vote for awarding the degree. Now let me count the votes. Uh, the procedure is here. My task is really simple. Counting. Uh, we, I can say that hopefully we can all hear and see each other that the result of as a result is unanimous all the council members voted for awarding to the author the, uh, ac the academic degree. So the decision has been made. Now, uh, since our session, uh, some members are really working in remote access mode. Do council members or the degree applicant or others have any questions, comments on the regarding the procedure of the meeting? Has something been viol violated? Anything been violated? No, no questions. Okay, then the final point of our procedure is the closing remarks of the, the, of the applicant. The floor is yours, Andrei Alexandrovich. Thank you, Alexander Lvovich. First of all, I would like to thank uh, all the dissertation council members for uh, paying attention and devoting time to my work in special, I'd like to thank them for their comments they made because these comments uh, will are, will motivate me to continue my work in this sphere. Also, I would like to thank my academic advisor, Oleg Nikolaevich Gronichin. Uh, thank you for his work. Uh, the work he invested in my work, I was very pleased to work with him. And uh, also, I'd like to say that I enjoyed the res very much this work and the results. Also, I'd like to thank Oleg Nikolaevich. Uh, uh, because of him, I met lots of people uh, working on optimization and management, uh, which is very valuable and very interesting. Thank you. OK, that now it's time to congratulate uh, let's give the applicant a round of applause. We congratulate you. We wish you further success in your chosen field. At that, uh, I declare the session closed. I thank everybody for participation and for your active work. Please stop uh, the online broadcasting. Thank you.